Good day and welcome. Today I'll show how you can check if the phone you are looking to buy is blacklisted or not. So if you are looking to buy a used smartphone, it is important to make sure that it is not reported as stolen or lost and not blacklisted by carrier, operator, manufacturer and so on. Here on the ema.info we offer both free and paid blacklist check. The free version is going to simply let you know if the phone is blacklisted or not, while premium check allows you to access comprehensive data from global sources, including detailed information about whether the device is blacklisted and, if it is, the reason behind it, blacklist country and who the phone has been blacklisted by. Now, it is also important to mention that our database and global blacklisted devices database may vary. For example, it is possible to find a device that global database, hence our blacklist premium check as well, will report as stolen or lost, while email.info database won't give you the same result, and vice versa. We have such phone marked as lost, but global databases do not report the same thing. Hence, we suggest that you use both blacklist check and low stolen database check to cover even more ground and be even better informed. Now, let me quickly show how you can actually check if your device is blacklisted or not. First, find the email number of the phone. You can do that by dialing asterisk pound 06 pound secret code, checking the device's original packaging, or going into About Phone Device section of settings on Android or General About Device section in iOS. If the phone is not in your hands just yet, simply ask the seller owner to provide you with an email number. So now go to the email.info webpage and here input the email number. Next press the Check Email button. Scroll down and here you'll find both simple and premium blacklist checks. Obviously the simple check is free and advanced premium blacklist check can be found in the advanced paid check section. Let's begin by performing a regular simple check. So select it, then press the check blacklist status and wait for your order to be processed. So, as you can see, the device that I'm checking is blacklisted, but as was mentioned previously in the video, simple check will not show you anything beyond, well, the blacklist status. So, as you can see, additional details such as blacklist reason, blacklisted by, blacklisted country, and so on are available in the premium blacklist check. So, let's quickly get a few pages back and press the blacklist premium check. Here, click make an order, next fill out all the billing details and proceed with your payment. Once the payment is made successfully, you are going to get a result that will look something like this one. So now not only we know the blacklist status, that's the same device by the way, but we can also scroll down and see the blacklist reason, which in the case of this particular iPhone is stolen or lost. The blacklist issuer, that is T-Mobile, carrier, blacklisted country, United States and the blacklisted on date. Beyond that, you can also scroll down and share this page by copying the link. Click this icon and the link to this order will be added to the clipboard. Or you can also tap at the printer icon to either, well, print out the order in the PDF format or from here you can just save it as PDF file and then share it further, should you need it, of course. And well, as far as this video goes, that'll be it. So thanks for watching and bye-bye.